Hi, my name is Carl Johnson. I am the fifth and final artist in residence for this season at Shenandoah National Park here in 2022. The, the type of art medium I practice is photography. So while I'm here in Shenandoah National Park as the artist in residence, I'm gonna be trying to explore the park as much as I can through that particular medium. And for my photography, I'm not just a landscape photographer or a macro or a wildlife. I really try to get a sense of a place so I'm gonna to try to explore all the different aspects that Shenandoah has to offer through my photography. Inspiration as an artist, um, it really depends on where I'm at, but mostly what inspires me the most as an artist is just the act of discovery, of being open to a place, going out, exploring it, and then just looking for things to grab my attention. Some of my absolute favorite photos I've ever taken have been complete accidents. They've just been all about me being at a location, immersing myself in that location, giving myself plenty of time to explore it and let something come to me. The key thing though, in order to make that successful is I have to give myself plenty of time. And again, that's where artists in residence programs like this really allow me as an artist to do what I need to do to be inspired. And that is to give myself time. You know, for example, I'll, I'll hike a trail that uh, like the Cedar Run White Oaks Canyon Trail where the trail guide says it's a seven hour hike, I'll do it in 11 hours because I'm giving myself the time to, to find that inspiration. I think really what it comes down to as well is to um, have the opportunity to explore it and, and know that I'm taking time to examine a place when there are dozens of other people hiking by because they're, they're just out for a hike. They're not really there to explore the place visually. So giving myself that time and, and kind of taking pleasure in knowing that I'm giving nature time to give me inspiration, it all kind of comes together. I really want to encourage people to get out and explore a place for themselves. Yeah, pullouts are great to do kind of quick views of the landscape but you don't really get a sense of a place if that's the only thing you experience at a location. You need to get out and explore, get off the road, go for a hike, even if it's a short one, and just see what the place has to offer for yourself. You know, artists and residence programs like this would not exist without the support of significant partners like the Shenandoah National Park Trust. So I wanna thank the trust for their financial support and also the park staff for the support they've given me. I've gotten a lot of great tips and I just wouldn't be able to do this uh, by myself. It takes that help and I really appreciate it.